This is probably the easiest side hustle that anyone and everybody can get started with that doesn't cost you any money that you can use it to leverage things like social media and AI to make $5,000, $10,000 and even $20,000 a month. One of the same things and strategies I used when I first started out was selling digital products and using lead magnets to collect people's email addresses so that I could upsell all the additional products and services that I have. Now, if you don't have your own products and services too and you're not on that level, you you can still point those people or redirect those people to leverage somebody else's course or programs or products that they have where you can get commissions. So overall, what I'm talking about is something called affiliate marketing, but as a whole, what you really want to start focusing your attention on, if you want to make money online the quickest way possible without spending a lot of money in the process is digital marketing. Now, hi, my name is Ronnie, AKA Dad Learns Money. I started my business a few years ago. It's been seven years overall. And over over those course of those seven years, I've grossed over $3 million in online sales through my business, dadlearnsmoney.com. But I got started at ground zero. I basically had to file bankruptcy. I was literally living on the street and living inside the car with my wife and my five kids and realized that I could make money online. Now I went through a lot of things. I went through Forex, I went through network marketing, I went through drop shipping and um, real estate and all these different other ways. But the best way that I found my success was through through affiliate marketing slash digital marketing. But there's a strategy to it that I had to learn too as well because I struggled in the beginning with affiliate marketing and I wanna break that down in this video. So if you've purchased an affiliate marketing product already and you've already invested, and you're struggling to get commissions or you're struggling to get any trash traction like e either clicks or you're collecting you're not collecting any emails you're not getting any views on your content one of the things i did in the beginning when i first started out you have to realize that there's a lot of people online right now especially if you purchase somebody else's course product or program whether it be master resale rights or it be some tool or software or anything that's in the midst of all this noise and some social media you have to understand that there's a lot of people doing the same thing as well and you also have to re remember as well so say you purchase something that's done for you or the person who's selling this course or whatever they said we're going to help you get started we're going to give you the funnel we're going to give you the emails we're going to give you the landing page we're going to give you all this stuff to get started especially if you're not tech savvy so that you can uh, launch your online business as quickly as possible so you can start promoting it and getting traction and getting sales you have to realize that those people are also getting all those same materials as well so imagine the people especially if this product or service or program is getting popular something like master resale rights and i don't mean to talk about that in a bad way i'm just using it for an example but everybody is going to an identical website that looks just like yours and they're all using the same strategies and the tactics they're being taught within that course product program or service whatever or course that you um gather the information that you signed up for and purchased they're all using those same strategies just like you so they could be telling you do five second videos by the way if you're watching this video and this sounds like something like you put it in the comments and let me know put like hey man i you you totally know that this is what's happening let me know in the comments and i'm going to reply back if they're telling you something like do five second videos to get traffic to your website to get traffic to your landing page to get uh, to promote your links they're telling you to do five second videos and they're telling you to do x y and z they're also telling all these other people to use the exact same strategy and this is what happens when that happens this is when you go on social media platforms whether it be facebook whether it be instagram or something like TikTok, and you've already been uh searching or browsing or watching content like that now the algorithm is sending you all that content because that's the one you're most interested in and you'll start seeing for yourself that there's a lot of people just like you and you're going to get caught up and compared to um to all those people and you won't be able to stand out one of the main things i teach everybody is i, I don't want to say don't do what your coach or your guru is doing um saying do what they're doing that's not to say that say if they're telling you to do five second videos that's the wrong way uh, to get started or the wrong way to generate sales and leads. Um, those things have a purpose as well, but you also want to focus your attention on what that guru is actually doing. So they may be telling you to do five second videos, but if you go look at their page and even the pages of their most successful students or affiliates or whatever that may be, you'll see they're probably doing five second videos, but they're probably doing, uh, doing two different things in, in uh, addition to that. 
So one, they may be doing five second videos, but when you look at their five second videos and probably their successful students, their five second videos are a lot more engaging and a lot more inspiring than yours. For example, the guru may be doing a five second video where he has a text on the screen, but he's on a beach, he's on a boat, he's in a car, he's on vacation. And then some of those things may be similar to one of the, uh, some or all of their successful students, but you're not on that level yet. So your five second videos, you're just sitting in your room, you're feeding the dog or you're cooking or you're doing laundry, which is fine. That's your current reality, but you're using the same strategy with the same text on screen, promoting a product that doesn't fit with the person who is watching that content, the criteria of what they're looking for to help them reach their desires. So they see, hey, I can make a lot of money online if I take your product or your service or purchase it, but you look just like me. And then the second thing they're doing that uh, you, if you may have noticed, if you go to uh, someone who's promoting or telling you to do something a certain type of way and they're a guru or a coach or a millionaire or multi-millionaire is that they're not just only doing the five second videos, but they're doing medium and long form content. So if you're only putting all your strategy, your focus time and energy into one strategy, like five second videos, that is a reason. And it could also be the platform, but I don't want to get too technical. So how do we solve this problem, Ronnie? How do we get to where I, if, if I purchase a course or I'm thinking about doing affiliate marketing or, or purchasing a course, if you haven't already, how can I go into it and start earning money and separate myself from everything else that everybody's doing, especially if you're the type of person that says, hey, I don't want to lie online. I have good morals. I don't want to tease anybody or tell something, tell people that's that's uh, misleading online that's not actually happening in my, in my life for the sake of getting the sale. What you're going to have to do is first, you want to narrow down your niche. And I know this is cliche. You've heard it all before, but you really have to understand if everybody is saying that it has some significance to it. And it's very important. You have to zero in on the people that you want to talk to. All right. And if you haven't achieved a level of success, your main goal right now is to build trust. So just because you haven't earned the or you haven't acquired the success of the successful entrepreneurs and gurus and the people who are making 5k 10k and 50k a month the only thing you have the leverage is your trust so you want to be open honest and transparent with those people now who are those people you want to talk to the people who are the closest to your reality so if you're a postal worker if you're a trucker if you're a stay-at-home mama if you're if you work in a nine to five, whatever it is that's your that's your reality, that's who you want to focus your attention to to put out content for and speak to because they're gonna be the ones who are gonna be able to relate to you the most. And then, then it's gonna be easier for you to connect with those people. And then once you make the connection, it's gonna be easier for them to gain trust or build trust with you through that process. When I first started out online, I didn't have all the success either. So what I did, I, I took what I had learned or I was learning and I was telling people how I was using this in order to get to where I was trying to go and being open, honest, and transparent with them. I also would talk about things that had triggers that only they would understand, whether it be lingo or it be scenarios and circumstances. Like I would say something to the fact of, hey man, I really hate my job. I'm really tired of my job. I wanna get off my job. My boss does this. Or this is what happens when I when I try to do sit down and do stuff in my business, and this is why I want to get out of it. Things like that. Like there's a if you're a postal worker, you know some stuff that happens in probably every single postal uh postal worker job or office around the nation that they could understand and relate with and laugh and cry and get angry with you. So when you are talking about that stuff, you're going to be able to connect with those people. And then secondly, outside of that, once you've narrowed out your niche on top of whatever you're promoting, you don't want to send them to that straight to that landing page. Even if they gave it to you, you want to send them to something, something unique that you created specifically for to, to them that you uh, have crafted to help them get started faster than the way you did because you are you're a few steps ahead of them And how can you do that Ronnie with a simple lead magnet? So so say for example, this could be a mini course or this could be an ebook or this could be a checklist 
or a guide, something that has your your name on it that you created that nobody else has so that you could promote it online that and separate yourself from everybody else and it makes you unique and it's going to work and it's going to convert, it's going to build your email list and it's going to attract only the people who would be the best, best candidates for this product based off your reality, based off your passions and the niche of those people that you've chosen to speak to. It's it's going to attract those people and those people only and they're going to convert more especially after you've built the trust with those people and i need you to understand that this is where a lot of people are failing because everything is done for us and given to us on our platter and we're thinking and we're relying only all that and this is going to be the answer to your prayers when in business there's a few extra things you got to do in order to be successful it does not mean that what you're promoting doesn't work you just have to learn how and figure out how to make that same system that's already been able that's already been proven to work figure out how to get it to work for you and there's ways to do that and i just gave you two so let's go back to social media so say you're doing five second videos you don't have to stop doing five second videos but one don't make five second videos your only strategy also do longer form content instead of five seconds do 30 and then from 30 do a minute and even if you want to get on the youtube and do long form content that's 10 minutes or longer do content like that as well. And then test other social media platforms because the group that you're trying to reach or speak to may not be on TikTok, may not be on YouTube. They may be on Facebook. They may be on Instagram. So wherever those people are, where you have the highest potential to get the word out and start growing your list and start growing your following on that particular platform, that's where you want to be. So you want to put your content in front of those places and focus your energy and time on producing content on those platforms because it has the highest engagement rate from the content that you're putting out. And then alongside that, if you're going to do five second videos, make it make sense to what you're promoting based off your reality. So if you can't take vacations, can't afford to take vacations like the gurus and, the, and all of the success, successful students are doing, then you want to, you don't want to use the same text that they're using in your five second videos. You need to make it more relatable and more realistic where it attracts those particular people you're trying to reach in your content. And you got to have a strategy behind that. That is going to work for you. And then on top of that third, like I said, create a league magnet for those people. So if you've already purchased that course, okay, there are some things in that course, I'm sure, especially if you're a new affiliate marketer, that didn't come to easy as you thought it would when you first started. So now that could be your lead magnet that you could create to when people come behind you, you could give them a give it away for free in exchange for their email address, especially if they're thinking about purchasing that um, product that you purchased this, you you could tell them, hey, here's a free list of things you need to be prepared for if you're thinking about purchasing this course title abc.com. So those people that are on the fence or thinking about it or real close but scared or skeptical for whatever reason, you could alleviate those fears and actually show them what's on the other side and what to expect and what's what are the pros and cons of it and prepare them for it and you're giving value after that is just nurturing them through your email list which is a whole nother story and a whole nother video that i explain on a, at a later time even though i've already created tons of videos about it and you'll see them popping up up on your screen i hope this value i hope this gives you value and i hope it helps you guys but you can do this you just got to do this in a way that it works for you that's the overall takeaway my name is dad learns money if you like this content this content was raw without any editing i want you guys to check out the next video popping up on your screen so how you can take this information and take it to another level and start generating some leads and sales so that you can quit your nine to five job for good that means clock out for good and work for yourself and start living the life that you deserve and you're entitled to stay blessed and i see you on the other side of success